So there are two different types of campaigns you could send through Behemoth. There are one-off campaigns and trigger-based campaigns. One-off campaigns is when you upload a CSV file, generate, let's say, a thousand videos, and send it to your audience. It's a one-time thing. But trigger-based campaigns are ongoing, automatic campaigns that get triggered by a certain action. And trigger-based campaigns is where we see the most successful users. So you can set up a trigger-based campaign using Zapier. Zapier enables you to create a campaign where anytime the user, for example, abandons their cart, you can generate a video and then send it out to them all automatically. The use cases here are endless. You can hook it up to your CRM so that anytime someone fills out a form, a video can be generated and go out to them in just a few minutes. Now, this is so powerful because you're able to hit customers with a personalized video when momentum is highest, when they're shopping on your site, and when they're interested in working with you. So let me show you how this works, and I'll walk you through getting started with Zapier. So you'll notice on our site, we have a contact page. And I want to make a campaign so that when somebody fills out this form, a video is created and sent to them that says, hang tight, we'll be in touch within just a few hours with a response to your inquiry. Okay, now the first step is to create or select a video template. So let's do that now. Let's hit create, go to my videos, and then I'm going to upload a new video. And what we'll do here is we'll upload a video that I just filmed, which will reply to Webflow forms as soon as they're filled out. So I'm going to upload this video now. And you can see that it has just finished here. So now we have to select where in the script is our variable. Where is the word that we want to change every time somebody completes that form? And for me, it's just the word name. So I'm going to make this a variable. I'll call it first name. Great. Perfect. Now let's hit finish. Nice. Now let's make a new campaign and I'll call this Webflow Zapier. Now I'm going to select the industry and use case that this is in. So this is marketing and this is automating the customer journey. Okay, cool. Now this is where the average process differentiates from connecting with Zapier. So normally with VHuman, you'd have to upload a CSV file with your data inside. However, we don't know what the data is going to be, right? Because people will be submitting these forms in the future. So to make this a trigger-based campaign, all we have to do is click Zapier. And this will open a new tab. We can log into Zapier and start creating our flow. Okay, so we just arrived in here. I'm going to call this Zap Webflow Video Reply. And let's start with a trigger. So in my case, the trigger is the App Webflow. And depending on you know, what sort of automated flow you're building, of course, you're going to have your own trigger for your own app. But for the sake of this demo, Let's use Webflow and let's use a form submission as the event that happens. Now I'm going to connect to my Webflow account. Perfect. Now I'm selecting some settings to configure the trigger app. So for example, the name of the website and the form that I want to use. Now we can test the trigger and make sure that the data inflow is working correctly. Okay, perfect. So you can see it pulled in a sample submission by someone named Richard. Okay, so let's continue. This seems to be working pretty good. Now, the next step is, okay, we have our trigger, we have our data. Now, what do we do with it? Now, normally I'd say, okay, be human, generate a video. But you'll notice something. The submission here is from Richard Neely. Now, in our video, we're personalizing the first name. However, give us the full name. So we need to add an extra step to remove the first name from the full name. Now, we can do that by hitting format as our next step, which is a handy tool that Zapier has that lets us alter text in real time. So for example, all we have to do is hit text and this will give us the option to separate by space. Split text, there we go. Now we're going to put in the full name of the person submitting the form. And the default is a space separator. So that means that Richard, and then it'll separate it nearly. And that should be what we want. So let's test this. And it returns Richard. Perfect. Okay. So to recap, we've taken our form from Webflow. We extracted the first name. And now here's where it gets fun. Let's add in BeHuman as the next step. Okay. 
So the Be Human event is going to be to generate a video from this data. So let's hit new video. I'm going to connect my Be Human account and I already have my account connected, but let's imagine this is a brand new account. Hit connect account. You'll see this pop up. And what you'll need to do is go into Be Human, go into settings, hit Zapier, hit generate, and then you'll be given a client ID and a client secret. All you have to do is simply copy this information into the pop-up provided by Zapier. Okay, and we're connected, great. Now let's hit continue. And now let's select the video instance that we're going to use. Hit this drop down, and it'll search for a list of your instances, Webflow reply, so that's the right one. And now select the campaign that we wanna use, Webflow Zapier. This is the campaign that we just created. Now we have to tell VHuman, where is the first name coming from? So all I have to do is select the second step where we extracted the first name and click the output. Hit continue. And let's test the action. Okay, now this part's really important. You may think that something went wrong here, but actually everything is going as expected. You'll notice the response from Be Human is a video ID, a status, a thumbnail, and a video URL. Now, status, thumbnail, video URL, all say generating. Now this is normal because videos take between one and two and a half minutes to generate. However, what Zapier needs is an instant response, which is why we return with generating. Now, when you actually publish this flow and make it live, what will happen is Zapier will wait for the real video response from Behuman in order to continue. Right now, we give you these placeholders, but again, they're just that placeholders. And now let's go to the next step, which is we wanna now send this video and I can send it over Gmail. So I'm going to add Gmail, and you can add any app you'd like here, MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, you name it. However, for the sake of this demo, let's use Gmail to keep life simple. And now we're going to send an email as the event, continue. We're going to connect our Gmail account. I'm going to use our Be Human Help email. Hit continue. Okay, now who is the email going to? Well. It's going to the person that submitted the form. So we can pull that from the first step. And who is it going to be sending from? The email we just connected. The name, I'll put my name in here. And the subject line will be, we just got your form submission. We want it to feel very casual, very authentic. Now, this is important. In body type, change it from plain to HTML. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take the scroll back up here, we're going to take the thumbnail and embed that as an image and then make it link to the video URL. This means that the video is going to look embedded in the email, which is what we want. And that's going to encourage clicks from your audience. So to do that, all we have to do is paste in a little snippet of code, a snippet of HTML that we've prepared for you. That makes this process really easy. So simply visit our help docs, go to docs.behuman.ai. And we have an article about this. If you search Zapier, you'll find how to send a video over email with Zapier. You can just simply copy this snippet of code, come back to Zapier and throw it in here. And this basically just says, hi, hey, first name. I wanted to reach out with a video and say hi. And then it embeds that video and says, talk soon. All we have to do is replace each of these placeholders like first name, video URL, thumbnail with real data. So for example, first name, we can just highlight it. And that means we're going to replace it and I'll take the output, Richard. So, hey, Richard, thanks for your interest. I wanted to reach out with an impromptu video message to say hi. And now the next thing to replace is video URL. So let's go into Be Human and let's take the video URL that Be Human generated. Same thing for thumbnail. And lastly, one more video URL. Okay. Perfect. Now let's hit continue and we're gonna test the action. Now this just sent an email to the person who submitted the form. And we can see that here if we go to our sent folder, but once again, it didn't actually send anything inside, right? Because this was just the placeholder. So once we're ready to actually test this, do a real test, all we have to do is click publish, we set it live, and then we can actually run a real test. So we've just published it now. And let's go ahead and we'll run a test. So we'll open up the Be Human website and we'll go to the contact page. 
and let's submit something. Okay, perfect. Now we should receive an email with a video inside mentioning our first name within just a few minutes. There's the time that it takes for Zapier to be notified that there's been a new submission, and then there's the time for Behuman to generate that actual video. Now, Behuman takes between one and maybe two and a half minutes to generate a video, depending on some factors. Zapier could either be notified instantly or it could take up to five minutes. That's not in our control. Um, so all in all, your video should be generated and sent out within under, let's say, six to 10 minutes. Now, Zapier has a nice feature that lets you see the history of the flow, as well as anything that's currently being processed. So if you click on history, you can see that we actually have one here and I can click into it. Okay, so you can see that there's been a new submission on Webflow. So this is what we just did. Zapier is triggered very quickly. Um, so it took my name and it was Don Bosco. Now it split it so that the output, if you go to data out, was just Don. And now it sent it to Be Human. So it said, hey, Be Human, I need a video with this campaign and the first name has to be Don. Okay, and there's no data out yet because again, it's still generating. So you can see that, like I mentioned, when the Zapier flow is actually live, then it's going to wait for Behemoth to return a response so it can actually send out a real video. So I'm gonna pause here for a couple minutes and we'll come back once the video is sent. Okay, so it's been only about actually 30 seconds. This one went quickly. I refreshed the page and it looks like the video was a success. And it actually got a couple of things. It got the status thumbnail video URL, but additionally it got a GIF and a direct link to the URL. And Gmail fired out accordingly, and it sent out the email with the video and thumbnail included. So with that said, let's check it out. Let's take a look at our video. And here it is, perfect. So this arrived in the email, actually literally within a minute and a half of me submitting that form. And we can of course, you know, change all this text and anything we'd like, but let's, let's check out the video. Let's see how it looks. Hey Don. How's it going? Dawn from Be Human here. And I saw you just submitted a form on our website. So I wanted to reach out and let you know, sit tight because our team usually gets back to people within just a few hours at most and absolutely within the same business day. So there you have it. In just a few minutes, we created a Be Human video, we set up a variable and we set up our Zapier flow. And now every time somebody submits the form on our contact page, they will get that video response fired out to them in just a few minutes time. So as a review, creating a Zapier flow starts with defining the trigger. So what is the thing that's going to trigger this video to be generated? Then the next step is to generate the video and you may have to do some formatting along the way. And finally, the last step is to send it out through your preferred platform of choice, be it Gmail, be it Outlook, be it Snowvio, be it MailChimp, really the options are limitless. Now, the major benefit about creating these sort of trigger-based automated campaigns are that you're hitting users when their momentum is highest. So when someone's shopping on your site, for example, or they're browsing your product or service and they raise their hand, they say they're interested, whether that's by filling out a form or abandoning their shopping cart or signing up for your newsletter, right? These are all points of interest that you want to attack and get to that customer as quickly and as efficiently as possible. And there's no more impactful way to do that with video. And there's no more timely way to do that with an automated flow. So it really brings all of the best worlds together. And every time we've seen someone set up a trigger-based campaign, it has always been a phenomenal home run. So you see some incredible response rates. I mean, just to give you an anecdotal example, we had a car dealership using this and they were getting a 70% response rate. So mind blowing stuff. At the end of the day, it's a powerful tool and your only limitation is your imagination. So if you have any questions at all, or just wanna brainstorm and chat, feel free to use our live chat at the bottom right corner of your screen on the platform, and we'd be more than happy to help. You can also check out our help center and our YouTube channel. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you on the platform.